Hey everybody, Lance here, and today I wanna to start a series, you know, I think this one's gonna be pretty long, on handstand prep. So handstands are really cool, they look really cool. Uh, they're a good uh, explanation or um, exemplification of strength and mobility. They're like the ultimate calisthenic stuff. Um, generally, it's very difficult to do the the mobility, the positioning that is required to look good on this, but also having the strength to support your entire body weight with your arms overhead. So we need to do things that will increase extensibility of the wrist. We need to do things that will allow the shoulders to go up overhead. And we need to, <laughs> we need to have that mobility, that mobility. We need to have the strength to support yourself and the endurance to kind of stay up there. And then the skill to, you know, learn how to balance yourself. Now, I will say it helps you if you got big hands, but it's still possible if you don't have big hands. Um, what I want to talk about first is the, the wrist and the shoulder blade flexibility that is necessary. So, if I have a flat upper back, my wrist flexors turn on and they push into the ground even more. Likewise, if I have a flat upper back, I can't bring my shoulder up quite as much as if I have this, a slightly rounded back, because if I extend my back, if my back is flat, my shoulder blade cannot tilt backwards all the way. So I get my extra motion by extending my back. Now some of that is okay. I want it to be kind of neutral though. I don't want it to be overextended this way. And to ensure that I can do it without overextending, I need to make sure whew, that I can restore normal, somebody's honking out there, restore normal curvature of my spine. The big thing that's happening here is not only am I restoring my shoulder flexion, but I'm also calming down those wrist flexors. So I think one of the best exercises to start with to get that shoulder flexion and that, that tension to come out of your wrist if you're feeling that wrist pain is the plank. And that's what we're gonna start with. 